had my second bout with depression. The first time was so horrible. After I was released from the hospital, it was just aimless. I didn't know what to do. I was paranoid. I had so many problems. There was a real sense of isolation, I guess, people of my generation, because we, we didn't really know where we fit in the neighborhood. We didn't have a, a sense of community. You can find yourself pretty isolated once you don't have that job to go to. Joelle was unable to read. There was one day that I remember that I told her to read with her cousin, and she said, crying mom, I don't know how to read. She felt frustrated. She felt depressed, and that made me feel extremely as a failure. For 40 years, I actually lived outdoors in the streets of New York. Living in the street, that was my whole world. I used to sleep in vacant lots on the sidewalk. It snowed or rained for a while. I slept in the train station. Nothing seemed to matter. After living in the street for 40 years of my life, it was pure hell. I was born in Hackensack, New Jersey. Came up with uh, mom and dad. I mean, you know, I had a pretty decent life. I got into some um, trouble during my younger years. When you're on the streets, when you're under the bridge, when you're living in a park, when you're living in a tent, you're not a part of society. I was born and raised in Larchmont, New York. I went to college in Arizona State. I came here when I was 25 after I graduated, and I've been here ever since. I realized I was being worn down by this life that I was living, and I had to get off the street. I found top, I was aimless. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself the next day. You know, in my life, a sense of a community has always been important. I need friends, I need people to talk to, I need people with ideas, and have a place here that I can do all that. And it's very comforting. Before, when I was in first grade, I didn't really like reading because it was too hard for me. But now that I'm in third grade, I love reading. It's my favorite subject. Because of daughter, now she's able to have enhanced her knowledge, her confidence, and also now she doesn't feel afraid anymore of reading. Since coming to garden, my life has blossomed, basically. I came here, I got off the streets, I have a, a, a roof over my head. I got somewhere I can wash my clothes. It's really become my life and uh, put me back in connection with a whole generation of people I would have never known. Without Goddard, it's nearly impossible to get back into society. It's too hard now. You know, life is too complicated, too sophisticated, and people are so consumed with becoming successful. There's no time for you. Once you're on the street, you're on the street. Goddard took time out. And we said, okay, we can, we can get you back into society. The thing about life, nobody's an island. You know, you can be as smart as you are, as you know, strong as you are. You need other people's help, you know, and Capital Hall, Goddard Riverside, they give you the help that you need to get you to where you want to go. Goddard showed me how to be productive in society how to live a normal life. Got it and showed me I'm a human being, not a drug addict. Got it has done a lot for me. A lot. And I'm proud. Goddard has definitely changed my life. This is the best thing ever happened to me. There's no way I could have done this without them. Thank you, Goddard. Thank you, Goddard very much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>